former President Donald Trump said that Monday he is suing ABC News and news anchor George Stephanopoulos for defamation over the newsman's questioning on March 10th of Representative Nancy Mace, a Republican from South Carolina, for her support of Trump's run for president in 2024. Nancy Mace is a rape victim who has spoken about out about her experience. Now, Trump was found by a New York jury liable for sexual abuse and defamation in the case against him by E. Jean Carroll. Stephanopoulos, however, said that Trump was found liable for rape, which is a different thing under New York law. Let's listen to the exchange that stirred up this incident. Rape. Donald they are judged and they're shamed. You're trying to shame me this I'm morning. Not, I think not, it's disgusting. I'm not shaming you at all. I, I told you my courageous. story. It took me 25 years to tell my story. I was judged for it. I still get judged for it today. I'm asking you a very simple question. It, and I answered Explain it. You're why, shaming no, me for I'm my not, political I'm not, choices. I'm asking you a question about why you endorse someone who's been found liable for rape. Just it was not a question. criminal court. We live in a weird place. We, we truly do. You know, again, Donald Trump was found guilty in a civil court of sexual assault. Even though, you know, again, E. Jean Carroll, whatever her name is, she introduced no evidence against him. He was found guilty in a civil court, not criminal. And because most people, they equate sexual assault with the rape, when, he, when Trump publicly said, I didn't rape her, the judge said, you're guilty of defamation, of defaming her character, because again, you said that she's lying. And again, the civil court didn't even find you guilty of rape. But most people think sexual assault and rape as being the same thing. So again, man, we we have to say that yeah, you're now guilty of defaming her, and you got to pay her eighty three million dollars. I mean, gosh, we have truly got to understand the kind of world that we live in, the kind of country that we have now. You know, again, with all these Me Too laws and everything else in New York now, you know, again. She introduced nothing against Trump. Nothing at all. This was some 25-year-old, you know, allegation, but nothing. And again, they found him guilty in civil court of sexual assault. But because that term is near, you know, it's close to rape, the judge said they're guilty of rape. At least in the eyes of the public, you're guilty. I forgot the girl's name, but the girl on the show here, she's an attorney. And uh, she, yeah, she explains how Trump was found guilty. Well, listen. So it's interesting that even in that exchange, Mace's response wasn't that, no, Donald Trump didn't rape anybody. It was that it wasn't in criminal court, which is true. It was a civil case. Now, there's actually a article that kind of goes through this uh, in the New York Times, or in the Washington Post, rather, that is titled, Judge Clarifies, Yes, Judge Was Found to Have Rape, uh, sorry, Yes, Trump Was Found to Have Raped E.G. Carroll, where the judge talks about how because there is a narrow definition of what rape is in New York State that does not include digital penetration, the jury did come to a finding that he had sexually assaulted but not raped. Uh, but it went on to say, quote, the finding that Ms. Carroll failed to prove that she was raped within the meaning of the New York penal law does not mean that she failed to prove that Mr. Trump failed to prove that Mr. Trump raped her as many people commonly understand the word rape. Indeed, as the evidence at trial recounted below makes clear, the jury found that Mr. Trump, in fact, did exactly that. So when you have the judge in the case saying that by common definition of what we understand rape to include, including digital penetration, it does seem odd to me that there would ever be a successful lawsuit against someone like George Stephanopoulos, who is speaking not in making a legal case in court, but in the common understanding of the meaning of the word rape about actions that D Trump took and which was proven, you know, demonstrate, you know, a, a jury of his peers found that he actually did in a civil, tri in a civil trial. Okay, guys, friend, the reason why she can't continue it's because it was not demonstrated. There was no evidence against Trump, none. I want you guys to listen to what um, they found in this case. 
the, the way that um, he was found guilty civilly of, of, of assaulting her. The suit went to trial in April of 2023. Evidence introduced testimony from two friends that Carol spoke to after the incident. A photograph of Carol with Trump in 1987 and testimony from two women who had separately accused Trump of sexual assault. Footage from Trump Access Hollywood tape <laughs> and his October 2022 deposition. That's it. So again, man, he was found guilty for, I mean, again, a hearsay. It was alleged that Trump assaulted two other women. And so again, he must be guilty. He must be. And two friends that uh, Carol spoke with after the supposed event. I mean, again, that proves it. That proves it. And a photograph of the of him and her almost 40 years ago. I mean, gosh, we've got to wake up to what's happening. <laughs> and again, that's why Brianna or whatever her damn name is could not, you know, again, man, could not say, well, they demonstrated or there was, or there was evidence or whatever. There was, no, there wasn't. That's what the problem is. And that kind of brings me to my next point. And that is, man, if, if Trump is found guilty, I mean, even though it was only civilly, if he was found guilty with no evidence, no evidence at all, just hearsay from two women that also accused him of, of something bad years ago. And the, the two women that spoke to, to E. Jean Carroll afterwards. And a photograph from 1987 of E. Jean Carroll and Trump. That was it. <laughs> that was it. If he was found guilty in order to pay her five billion dollars, and then because he dared say I didn't do it afterwards in public, again she was able to successfully sue him for eighty-three million dollars. We have truly get to understand we live in a corrupt country at this point. We truly do. And we have to recognize who are the ones corrupt again. The Democrats. I mean, again, over and over again, it's been shown over and over again, they are the ones corrupting the world. Again, Black Lives Matter. I mean, you know, telling white people, you know, they ought to feel guilty for stuff that they never did because of the color of their skin. Things that happened in the past. You know, that you can that you can somehow turn a boy into a girl and a girl into a boy with the hormone shots and surgery and whatever. And that should be done. That is the right thing to do. Again, we have to truly realize, man, these are the people doing this to Trump. The same people. The same evil, sick, you know, ideology. The same sick people, the same sickness. We truly get to understand that. And again, I don't understand why Trump, why she thinks that uh, Trump can't sue George Stephanopoulos. I mean, why would she think that George can't, that Trump can't successfully sue him with, with what he said on TV? Because again, I don't know about you guys, but I th when I think of rape, I, when I think of somebody being convicted of rape, you know, again, I think criminal, number one, and I think evidence, number two, and I think, you know, again, somebody, it's been proven that they did this. So again, when you sit on there on TV and you call somebody, they say a rapist, again, the common, remember the common definition, the common definition of what he said would lead most people, I would think, to believe that, guess what? 
he is guilty of raping her. I don't know what you're going to say, but that's what I think. But anyways, guys, if you would, please like, subscribe, and leave a comment down below. Thanks. <laughs> You son of a- You son of a-